By now, I hope you have your lecture tutorial for Introductory Geoscience workbook. This is the second edition, which I have with me right now, but the third edition is the one that's come out and that I'm going to be using for our activities. So what I typically do is during class, when we're meeting face to face, I will do a little lecture and then I will stop and I will say, okay, everyone open your book and try pages 98 and 99. And then I'll give you guys 10 minutes to work on that and then we'll go over it. So it's kind of an activity that makes sure you're clear on whatever the topic is. So let's take a look at what these are all about. So here is the cover of the more recent edition, the third edition. What you will see is that in general, the activities are two pages, maybe three pages long on each topic. So I'd like you, if you have your book, to try pages 147 and 148 called the Earth Timeline. Go ahead and try to answer the questions that are in there and pause this video while you do that and then go ahead and watch and I'm going to give you the answers. So go ahead and pause. All right, let's take a look at the answers. The Earth Timeline activity is intended to help you better conceptualize Earth's incredibly vast history and the depth of geologic time. It's very difficult sometimes for students to understand how old things are. For example, something that I tell you is 750 million years old or 2 billion years old or 600,000 years old, those might all seem sort of similar to you. They're all just old. So we're going to try to get a better handle on what geologists call deep time. Okay, so the first question says place the five events from earliest to most recent on the line below. So this would be Earth formed, life evolved, dinosaurs became extinct, the Ice Age occurred, and the fall of the Roman Empire would be the most recent. So lower on the page, it tells you to look at this timeline that shows billion year marks. So this is today, and this is 1 billion, 2 billion, 3, 4 and a half billion before the present. So first we want you to label those so you clear which direction is which. And then it says write the five events from question one at the corresponding arrows. So the earth formed back here at four and a half billion years ago. Life evolved around 3.8 billion years ago. The dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. And then the Ice Age and the fall of the Roman Empire are both so recent that on this timeline, they're essentially at that same arrow. So you want to make sure that you have the correct arrows showing these different events. And you want to make sure that you have the dinosaur extinction listed correctly as well. So three students are discussing which two events share an arrow on the timeline. Now, I already just gave you the answer, but if you went and did this ahead of time, hopefully you figured out that student two was correct and that the Ice Age and the fall of the Roman Empire happened at nearly the same time when it comes to geologic time. So why is that? Earth forming and life evolving are separated by about 800 million years. And the Ice Age and the extinction of the dinosaur are separated by about 65 million years. Now, the Ice Age and the fall of Roman Empire all happened within the past million years. So you want to make sure your answers are correct. And then just to kind of emphasize it, what are the two events that happened in the last million years, the Ice Age and the fall of the Roman Empire? Now, of course, the fall of the Roman Empire was much more recent, but both of these events are much, much younger than the other three listed here. So people often consider dinosaurs to be one of the oldest forms of life on Earth. Based on the timeline and the dates that are given, do you agree with this statement? So I'm going to go back to that picture and show you, here's life evolving. Here's dinosaur extinction. And dinosaurs came on the scene about here. You can see where my arrow is. So just this little bit of time here is where we had dinosaurs. So definitely not the oldest life forms by a long shot. Number 10 says the Loch Ness is a lake formed in Scotland during the Ice Age. And the Loch Ness monster, which you might have heard of, is said to live in the lake. And some people think that this monster is actually a plesiosaur, which is a marine dinosaur, basically a reptile that swam in the oceans back at the time of the dinosaurs and then went extinct with the dinosaurs. So given the timeline and dates, what do you think about this explanation? Well, again, if you look back here, the Ice Age formed a lake 
the dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years earlier. So probably not. Okay, so you got the idea. Now I want you to try the universe timeline a little bit more about deep time. And now pause the video again and try pages 149 to 150. Okay, here we go with the answers. So the objectives for this particular activity, again, is to better conceptualize the history of the Earth and the universe, and also to make sure you're clear on the difference between the Big Bang and the formation of the Earth. Students often confuse these two events, and they happened very, very far apart from each other. Okay, so the first part says, place the following four events in order on the line below. I don't know why they have five lines, but you have the Big Bang is the first thing that happened. That was the beginning of the universe. Earth formed, life evolved, and the Egyptians built the pyramids. This is what we call relative age. We don't know the exact number of the age yet, but in relative time, in terms of which one happened first, second, third, this is a relative order. Okay, so now we have another timeline like the earlier activity, but this one goes from the present to the beginning of the universe, which is 14 billion years ago. The previous one went back about four or five billion. So now this is the entire history of the universe. So it says to write those four events on the timeline. So the Big Bang occurred about 14.6 billion years ago. The Earth formed about four and a half billion years ago. Life evolved around 3.8 to 4 billion years ago. And then the Egyptians built the pyramids essentially today. Does the date match the arrow you labeled as life evolves at 4 billion years? Okay, so you want to make sure that that matches. What two adjacent events had the most time between them? And that would be the Big Bang and the formation of Earth. These events are separated by almost 10 billion years, not million, billion. Earth and the other planets within the solar system all formed at the same time. Now I want you to add that solar system formation to your timeline. And here we have Earth formed. We're going to replace it with Earth and the solar system formed. Everything formed at the same time in our solar system. We believe that Mars had abundant water on its surface in its first half a billion years of history. And so scientists are trying to determine if life lived in that water. If that were the case, how many billion years old would that life be? Well, Mars formed with the rest of the solar system about four and a half billion years ago. So if that first half a billion is the time that had life, it would be four billion years old. Finally, the last part of this section asks you to think about the Big Bang and the solar system. And as I mentioned earlier, many people have a misconception that the Big Bang formed the solar system. Do you agree? Well, hopefully by now you realize that these events are separated by an enormous amount of time. The Big Bang happened about 14 billion years ago, and the Earth and solar system formed about 4.6 billion years ago. So those are the lecture tutorials for introductory geoscience. I have them sprinkled throughout various lectures. Sometimes they're a standalone video because they do take some time to go through, and I never want to make my videos more than 12 minutes. Uh, but look for these. These are going to be very helpful, I think. They're good for making sure you understand some key concepts. If you don't have the book yet, make sure you go out and get it.